So since I'll be talking about research, you've probably seen this a thousand times, but very briefly, I will just talk about the hierarchy of research. And because I'll be addressing some of these articles, and some of these articles are the higher level research-related studies. So as we know from the uh, foundation here, when we go up that uh, uh, research pyramid, as we move up that pyramid, the strength of the evidence gets a lot better. Now, I'm going to say when we look at case reports and case series, they have a lot of validity to us as chiropractors as well. Everybody in this room right now has something in their office that they can write up. Everybody in this room has had some excellent clinical outcome with a patient. And it's just a shame that as chiropractors, we only keep that secret amongst us. We need to get it out there more. I, other researchers at the college, would be more than happy to help you write up a case study. I would be more than happy to help you develop that process, look at particular outcome measures that you use in your office that are validated, capture that data, and write up a, a case study. Because the more case studies we have that show the, the efficacy of what we do, that increases our credibility. So all I'm going to say is I open that up to you. Because I guarantee you, you guys have studies that are locked away in a cabinet somewhere. That could be great teachable moments. So as we move up this hierarchy from case studies, uh, case series, case reports, then we go to a cross-sectional study, take a chunk in time, what's going on, what are some outcomes. Then we move up to case control cohorts. I follow a group of patients over a period of time, and I want to see whether or not my intervention is successful. I got patients with knee pain, patellofemoral pain syndrome. I'm going to have one group where I'm going to deliver an HVLA to the knee, and another group where I'm going to do acupuncture. I'm going to follow that cohort over a period of time and see what clinical outcomes I have. And then at the, the um, top of this pyramid, which, which is really good evidence, really good strength, are the RCTs and your systematic reviews and meta-analysis. So everybody's probably familiar with that RCT. You have your control, your experimental group. We follow them over a period of time and we see what the clinical outcomes are. Versus meta-analysis and systematic reviews, I'm going to try to study something, the effectiveness of neck pain and spinal manipulation. So I searched the database. I found 40 articles out there. I weed through that article based on inclusion and exclusion criteria that fits my needs for my study, and then I synthesize it. And those are the top types of studies we want to evaluate, and we actually want to use that will drive our clinical decision-making uh, process.